but like, do you remember uh, what is that? Is that the devil? That's <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> oh. He's getting He's getting popped up. <laughs> Okay, welcome back, Check the Candy. Um, I'm Taylor, aka Skynet Video. I hope it's blinking with my Instagram down below me. Um, <laughs> this is Chris, aka Silent Horror Night eighty four, and that is John, ASS New England Home of Horror. What up? So yo, we yo, yo. Uh, back tonight we. Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Tonight we are going to talk about what got us into horror. Ooh, uh, what one. it is, what brought us into the love of what we do now. So, um, fucking love it, dude. Love it. Oh, yeah. I'll this one. It's so sweet. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be a pretty fun uh, journey that we're going to go on. We're going to learn a lot about each other. Uh, not just our penis sizes, but what we what got us into it. So love it. Well, those are important too. So it's all right. True. They are. They are. That's why we've all sent pictures and measurements, and that way we're. That's why we're all friends. It's we're, true. They got the Motorola's razor having that nice zoom. Get that oh, little. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Four and a half inches exactly. You know? All of us. So. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a lot if you put them together. It, it's like a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, nice. it's like it's like one whole dick if you put them all together. It's nice. It is. It is. That's one thing I. Always, that's one thing I always say. Uh, eight well, like, inch cock. An eight like, inch cock can well, always be a four inch cock, but right. a four inch cock will never be an eight inch eight inch right. cock. But if you put all of us together, we've got like. A, Fuck yeah, we're like the Power Rangers, dude. We're, yeah. Come together yeah. and make the Megazord. Mm-hmm. And yeah. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go and uh hope hopefully one day whenever we all meet up we can cross swords and go from there yep. but um all right so uh what got us into horror i am going to point at john all right go. it's a good question it's a big question too um so i'm glad we have you know a good 40 minutes to talk about this which we found out lately that it's not a lot of time 40 minutes flies mm-hmm. by man um, yes like you know what really got me into it and it wasn't watching just scary movies it was like it wasn't like the first time i got scared that i got into horror you know what i mean it was more of uh like in special time like you know with family and stuff and friends that really got me into the genre like i just remember watching um tales from the crypt and tremors with my dad like tremors fucking set it off I had so much fun watching that film when I was a kid. I fucking loved it. You know, it's like an ode to 50s, like, bug movies and shit. Love that fucking movie. Um, But also the scary stuff, too. I mean, I remember the first time seeing... I think the first horror movie I ever watched was was Children of the Corn. And there's, I just remember being young and my parents had people over. And it's that scene in Children of the Corn at the beginning where the kids poison the coffee at the coffee shop. And they just all start fucking puking everywhere, dude. And I remember, I remember it freaked me out so bad. But I was like, I had that was the first time I felt that sensation of like, okay, I want a little more. Like I want that <laughs> feeling again. Like I was scared, but I wanted that feeling. And I was young, dude. And then like I saw Chucky, uh, Child's Play, and then it like freaked me out. Then I was a little bit older, so it freaked me out beyond belief. I was like, this motherfucker's in my closet right now, and it's. <laughs> I, it's terrifying. I don't want anything to do with this. But then again, after it all calmed down, I fucking wanted more. And it was just movies like that that kept making me want more. The Mummy was a big one, too, with Brendan Fraser. Huge fucking adventure horror uh, movie. One of the best, I think, in my opinion. That movie fucking... That was one of the first movies I think I saw that, like, scared me. Because, I mean, I was still young. That movie came out, what, like, 99? So, yeah, I mean, I was, like, 10 or 11, and I mean, that movie still scared me. Like when he's like, when they start saying the prayer and he comes out of the sarcophagus or he's like hanging out of the sarcophagus and then he comes up and he fucking, you know, the CGI back then looked good. And, yeah. uh, and it like freaked me out, but it was the first time I could like 
kind of handle it, I was like, oh, wow. Like, this is interesting. This, this feeling's interesting. And, um, yeah, so those movies, The Sixth Sense was a big part of that as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that movie, like, the twist just fucking blew my mind. That was, you know, one of the first movies where I just really understood what was happening. Um, really well put together movie, well written movie. Um, I'm not shambling a ding dong, dude. He's yeah, amazing. Dude, he's good, man. And uh, I was a fan ever since. You know, I loved Signs. I actually loved The Village, too. I, I, I liked a lot of movies that he came out with. Um, but yeah, those were some of the movies that I think kind of propelled me into, you know, going then going to the theaters and experiencing it and, and you know, seeing the the ring the grudge oh um, shit movies like movies like that and shit you know the the you know i was right around 14 or 15 when those were coming out i'm pretty sure those were like 2003 2004 i think um you know movies like that exorcism of emily rose came out and then i remember before those really though i remember seeing the exorcist and it just fucking blew my mind how terrifying that movie was to me like it mm-hmm. just i stayed up for nights dude like and it was awesome, like so much fun. And obviously, you guys know my love for The Exorcist now is still the same. You know what I mean? It's 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 my favorite movie of all time. It's brilliant. It's one of those movies that like I sit there and like I've seen it so many times, obviously. So it's it's kind of rare that I watch it on my own now. But if someone hasn't seen it, it's one of those movies where I'm like, I have to watch you watch it. You know what I mm. mean? And like it gets me so amped every time. So yeah, those are a few of the movies that got me in, and and um, that's basically the start of my story, I would say. Okay, okay. Well, that's a that's a you you and I lived a similar life. Yeah. Let's just say that. So uh, we're, around the, we're we're around the same age, right? Around the same age. Chris is like fifty two now, I think. Oh, so he's he, he, so funny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris, bud. Chris, <laughs> Chris, Chris, saw the, Chris saw the Exorcist in theaters. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Chris, what got you into horror? I want to know. All right. So it's, it's pretty rad how it happened. He's like, um, let's turn let's turn back the clock. <laughs> not the 79 fuck you <laughs> so i used to live next to a pizza joint and they used to like dub vhs's from like they rent movies dub on the vhs's whatever oh yeah holy shit i forgot about shit like that i'm like they let me go through the whole movie collection I'm like oh earth's close to camp i love this movie i'm definitely gonna borrow this movie i'm like all right cool and then after it was like friday the Teeth part seven i'm like blew my mind i'm like this is amazing i fucking love it i need more like right now so every Halloween, I used to sneak up to my parents' bedroom and watch Halloween, Halloween 2. I think I was six, maybe going on seven. So I was wow. like a dick from like day one. Hmm. That makes sense, dude, because you're, you, I don't know if I've met someone who watches more movies than you, bro. Like no. I, like I fucking I love, lot. I fucking love movies. Taylor fucking loves movies, but man. I don't you know. You love movies. <laughs> like if yeah, there's holy, a definition. <laughs> holy, holy fuck, dude. Does he love movies, man? Yeah, Insane. I like him a lot. A lot of it. But yeah, this is, that was like the genesis of it all. And I was like addicted ever since. My parents let me rent Halloween when I was eight. This OG, the 78 one. That was like terrified the shit out of me. Yeah. No blood, no nothing. I was like, man, this mind this movie's mind blowing. Loved it. Yeah, yeah. so awesome. No, I, I can see I can see Halloween seventy eight being mind blowing uh, back in your day, but um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> watching it, uh, watching it, I fucking hate that movie. Like I, I, I love I Michael Myers as a character and as a right. as a as a, a fucking being and you know whatever. But fuck, man, it's so fucking boring. Like it's so it's so slow. slow. It's it so is, but it's, it's so you appreciate good. it though. If it wasn't, wasn't for that, you would have nothing else. Dude, you wouldn't have like, anything else, and that's why I do appreciate that. That's why I appreciate the first uh Friday the 13th. I actually <laughs> really fucking like that movie. It's yeah. just if you didn't have that one, you wouldn't have Jason. If you didn't have yeah. uh Halloween, you wouldn't have Michael. So I mean it's yes. just you have to sit through the bullshit, but 
you know, I get it. My mom and dad said the same exact thing, Chris. <laughs> yeah. That they loved it when they seen it in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Kelly. That's funny. So the first movie I actually seen in theaters was Jason Goes to Hell. My friend's babysitter snuck us in in 93. Wow. I convinced my dad. I'm like, oh, we should go see this movie called Tell Us in the Crypt Presents Demon Night. I'm like, what is oh it? My God, like, oh, that it's a comedy. It's fine. And he's like, I'm never going to take you to a movie like that again, ever. <laughs> that movie was so fucking good. I was like, addicted even more than that. Yeah, awesome. so, Chris, you remember sneaking into movies in the theater. Do you do it, John? Did you remember that? Um, I went to, like, I did a few, like, um, not sneaking in, but, like, going from one to the other. That like, was sneaking in. It was, like, you would go, you basically, would basically to get the one, yeah. And then right. you go directly, there's two doors, you know, you just right. go straight to the other one. <laughs> right. And, yeah. uh, it, I fucking, that was my shit, man. Especially in, like, uh, middle school whenever the parents were like yeah that was the thing to do i mean especially yeah. where, I'm, where i'm from it's like going to the movies was like you either like you're hanging out out in your backyard or like you're going to the movies there's not like a bunch of shit to do there wasn't a bunch of shit to do it was like the the movies was where everyone was you know what i mean yeah so yeah. it was like a big it was a big part of my life and then obviously like renting movies was another passion oh uh, picking up picking up Crazy. Picking it up and not seeing the VHS behind it was the yeah. worst fucking feeling ever. Oh, I, was like, yeah. I hated like that, that so when much. That, yeah, when that new release came out and you were just at fucking school, so you just knew you weren't going to get a fucking copy that weekend. Like, it was a miracle. <laughs> you had to be like, you just had to, like, pray that they had one rewinding in the back. You know what I mean? You were like, please yeah, yeah, yeah. just have one that's been returned already, you know? Yeah, yeah and uh, occasionally they would pull one out. And yeah, you'd be like, oh, just weekend. Came- yeah, they'd be like, let and me go would- check the – we had Hollywood video, and they were like, let me go check the – because remember they had, like, the pullout yeah. you that know, they would drop movies off? Yeah. You'd be like, let me just go check the the thing, you know what I mean? And then they'd go pull it out and be like, oh, here it is. You'd be like, oh, fuck yeah, let's go, dude. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. And then, yes. like, you'd go, you'd go rent it on Friday night, and then you'd have it through Monday. So, like, there was no, like, risky you – know, you, you could rent, like, four or five of them. You got, like, oh, yeah. a discount of some sort. Oh, dude, know? I didn't even keep it till Friday. <laughs> but I kept movies. Dude, I had The Exorcist for, like, three years one time, and I was just like, <laughs> fuck it. Because, like, after a while, Hollywood video would be like, once you pay for the movie, basically – Yeah, it's like, yours. They don't, they don't charge you anymore, so I just they- had it. Forever. I remember I remember them charging like outrageous though. Like it oh, yeah. was like way more than what you could, could buy, go buy it for at Walmart. <laughs> but dude, uh, my friends, my friends would be like, dude, you put Hollywood video out of fucking business. He's like, you just kept <laughs> movies and like never and then I just would wait so long to pay the late fee. Like I'd show up and buy other movies and they'd be like, You got fucking 20 bucks, you gotta pay your late yeah. fee. And I'd be like, I'm a kid. And they'd be like, You pay you put these Swedish fish back and and use that money to at least, <laughs> at least pay you know two or three dollars on the movies that you owe and we'll let you rent this one. I'll be like, all right, cool. And then again, whatever you know. I forgot all about the fucking candy, and they would say that. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's amazing. That's so fun, man. I remember walking in and just the lights. Like you oh, walk yeah. in and so it's bright, man. There's all kind. There's aisles of movies, you know, and that whole back wall is where you wanted to go. That back wall, it seemed to me, was like unbelievable what what was there you know yeah. and uh then you go down these other when you have like romance and all that fucking bullshit like that that back wall that seemed like that was where you needed to go that was and uh shit. there you know there's a couple of them here um i'm sure maine's probably the same way it's a little smaller so you had some like yeah. smaller not really like you had hollywood video but you also had like smaller people doing it too oh, uh, we had one called video max and then uh um Oh shit, I can't remember. There's another one. But fun story is where I got most of my VHS. Whenever they went out of business, I went there and I bought fucking everything they had. I mean, oh, both really of them. Awesome. And I tried to work at Video Max uh, for, I mean, years, man. Absolute, just fucking years. I, they had a tanning salon there. I was like, I'll clean the bed. I'll clean <laughs> the bed. <laughs> like, Dude, 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 the 90s and early 2000s are a fucking wild time. Dude, oh, yeah. dude, Chris is going to pizza joints renting VHSs. Taylor's got going tanning as he's getting a fucking VHS, dude. <laughs> Mine was right across the street, so I was just basically stealing movies. And then, yeah, I had little ones too, Taylor. I had one called like Home Vision Video and like, um, uh, 
there was a couple other ones like that too, man. The, that was like what pre-gaming is now. I remember that Friday night being like, oh man, two of my friends are spending the night. Yeah. We're just going to rent bonkers fucking movies, get candy and pizza. Because here's what's crazy about my house, dude, is I, across the street, literally across the street, Hollywood video. Right That's next awesome. to it, cl- even closer actually, Pizza Hut. Like, <laughs> Like 20 steps, I'm not shitting you. Like, I'll send you guys a picture next time I'm down at my mom's house. Like, you look out my window and Pizza Hut's right there. Like, why? Your mom knew what was up when she bought yeah. that place. Yeah. <laughs> like, she was like, this is like... going to be a fucking teenager's dream, dude. And, like, that was, like, pre-gaming back in the day. You'd go there Friday night and be like, yo, buying the movie was like, let's fucking go, man. I can't wait to watch these three or four fucking movies and just stacks of pizza, fucking Swedish fish, fucking oh airheads, dude. <laughs> And then just, rent. Oh, yeah. I'd rent like a comedy. I'd rent two horrors. I'd rent a horror comedy. Like I remember the first time I saw Club Dread and I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, uh, I was like, this that. movie rules. There were so many movies that I rented that I would just watch over and over and over again. Stuff like Tremors, stuff like The Exorcist, yeah. Club Dread, you, fucking all. Do those you guys, movies. all right, so like John, this is more for you because Chris, I'd say, I don't know really Chris, but like, do you remember, uh, what is that? Is that the devil? That's <laughs> Malvo. Oh. He's getting crazy. He's getting popped up. He's talking about it. God, all right. Is that the but, devil? Do, do, yeah, you remember, oh, do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember looking at some of the some of the artwork and your mom just would not let you fucking get it? Oh, like definitely, dude. Like two two of them that really stuck out to me still to this day was Jack Frost. Yeah, and then uh, witchcraft with the dude. It's got like the satanic symbol behind him, and oh, he's yeah. like biting her neck or whatever. Yeah, like that shit. Chris, do you hear me on that? Oh, say it again. I'm sorry. You dealing with the devil? Um, yeah, dealing with the devil. So, like, I don't, I don't know if this, like, well, this is something that happened to you, you, but like, do you remember like looking at some of the VHS like artwork, like the fucking sick ass artwork oh, that yeah. everybody loves? I'll never then, forget watching, seeing. Saturday the 14th. I'm like, this movie looks amazing. And it's like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It's so, so fucking good. bad. I it's, hate that. It's movie. so bad. It's good. It's almost like that, culture. That, that was the other thing, though, is like you had to take a chance. You, know, you didn't have to yeah. go on, read synopsis of movies and shit. You had to take a chance on the cover. That was like the big deal. And like, I'm still living that fucking life. I'm going oh, yeah. by that shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I, st- I, I literally, that's engraved into my skull, dude. Like, I go when I go buy movies at Bull Moose. Like you guys, I've talked to you guys about Bull Moose. If you know the viewers might not know what I'm talking about, but it's basically my movie store here. You buy DVDs, music, all that shit. I go there, and if I buy five movies, I'm buying four. I'm buying like two that I don't have that I love. I'm buying two that I've seen but don't have, right? And then I'm buying at least one or two based on the cover. Like straight up, okay. And I've I have found some like great movies that way, and I have found some fucking bullshit movies that way. But it's so fun to me. Like that's such a such a good. It's 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 so fun to do that, dude. Just that's how that's how the video store was. It was. It was exactly like that, and that's that's the risk. It's like Russian roulette, man. It's like, yeah. uh, in all of those movies, every one of them I've seen now that I, you know, that I remember looking at and I remember seeing, and I'm just like, this looks so fucking cool. I can't wait to, I, I want to watch this. But my mom, she was like, you're not watching that. Yeah. You're not watching that. But uh, so when I got <laughs> older, of course, those are the first ones I watched. And the first two uh, that I bought whenever the store went out, uh, VHS, was Jack Frost and Witchcraft. Because and you remembered them. I remembered them, yeah. and uh, uh, and of course, I, I think I picked up like whenever they like. I don't know if it happened with you guys, but whenever the, the VHS stores went out, you know, whenever whenever they went out of business, the rental stores, like it was pump, like bumping, dude. Like it was fucking hard. Like people had. St- I remember people just like carrying fucking stacks of movies in their hands because they were selling out. You know, they were going out of business, and. Um, so I grabbed I grabbed pretty much everything I could. Uh, I went straight to the horror and I got, you know, fucking everything. You know, I didn't get a lot of like good good ones that I like wanted, uh, but I did get a lot of fucking 
memorable ones that were fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and I've still got, I actually got rid of witchcraft probably a couple of years ago. Cause that movie fucking sucks. But, uh, <laughs> Jack Frost, um, I kept it, man, just because I love that fucking movie. Like, it's so bad. Like, it's so bad, but it's so fucking good. I love that movie so much. Yeah, it's funny how that works, dude. I remember there's always... There was even ones that I remember always... Because I was there, like, every Friday. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I always remember seeing certain covers, but, like, never renting the movie. Mm -hmm. And it was just something, like, in my head. Like, I just... That was the one I would spot every time. And I just saw it over and over and over again. And I remember the one I saw every single time I went and I never rented was Bubba Hotep. Every damn time, dude. Because I was always like... I've never heard of that. What? Oh, man, Bubba Hotep. Dude, it's basically Elvis. Like, it looked like Elvis on the cover, but it was fucking... It was Campbell. I don't think I've even heard of that. It was Bruce Bruce Campbell? Campbell? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, he got glasses on and like. Yeah, he looks like Elvis, dude. He's like an Elvis impersonator. Like he was just Bubba Hotep. Oh man, I might have seen that. But I like back Bruce. then, it was it wasn't like I was thinking Bruce Campbell. You know what I mean? It was. It yeah, was yeah. Just, I was like, this guy looks like Elvis. Like, what's up with this fucking movie? Like, what is this? And I just never saw it until like I was older. But it was always a cover. I like I remembered. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's not. Is that but, Bruce Campbell? Dude, that's Bruce Campbell. No way. Yeah, dude. Bubba Hotep. <laughs> yeah, I always I remember seeing that, that. And I always just like laugh and be like, fucking Bubba Hotep again. And then I'd get something else, you know? Did you ever watch it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Later. Is it though. decent? Is it decent? It's, it's okay. Need... Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I love Bruce. Yeah, I, just, I literally just picked up Tornado. Did you guys, Tornado with an exclamation mark. Did I you, saw you ever watch I that? Saw you, I saw you post that. That uh, that movie come out three days before Twister. And uh, it's it's got Bruce Campbell. He's the typical Bruce Campbell. So it's a good movie, though. Not bad. Real shitty, but not bad. Um, but I tell you, I tell you one thing. Uh, if I if I wasn't at <laughs> if I wasn't at the movie or the the movie store renting movies on Friday night, I was at home with a bag of popcorn and M and M's, waiting for Disney Channel to drop their new fucking movie. Right. Because on Halloween. They had some bomb ass shit come oh, out. Dude, and so good, man. So good. I was Fucking I was re- under ready. Wraps, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was wraps, ready for it. Don't look under the bed. Fucking uh I always remember watching Halloween the, Town. Uh, yeah, Halloween Town, dude. Yeah. I always remember watching the uh not on Disney, but the Goosebumps episodes, like the Haunted mm-hmm. Mask and shit like that. When those yeah. finally came out as a TV show, I was like, holy fuck. And remember, you could buy the VHS, but it was just like two episodes. You know what I mean? It yeah. wouldn't be like the whole thing. So fucking dope, man. Yeah, I forgot to kind of touch on that. Like the the younger, my younger days of like kind of what started that getting into like wanting to see horror movies and it was like goosebumps are you afraid of the dark the disney channel original movies hocus yeah. pocus was a big part of that mm-hmm. uh movies like that ghostbusters casper all that shit you know all of them i fucking loved i was always more drawn to those movies than i was like you know obviously i love comedies and shit as well but those movies like really really did it for me yeah yeah that's uh that that's me. I mean, honestly, I mean, we're around the same age, so yeah, it was like the same. Uh... Yeah. How old are How old are you, John? What, I don't. We don't even know this, do we? I'm th- I'm 33. Okay, I'm 33 too. John or Chris, you're what? Um, how old are you, bud? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what an asshole. 23. I'm 23. I'm younger than you two. Oh, that's why you don't remember Disney. Okay, I got you. It's yeah, a good party. Disney. Chris has dementia. <laughs> Carpal but, uh, tunnel and arthritis. I, dude, I, I even remember like when the VH, when the, when the stores were switching over to like DVD mm-hmm. and it was fucking wild, dude. I just remember the VHS slowly kind of moving to like one side then the DVDs just taking over. And I just, you know, it was like, I was like, it's so thin. Like, what the yeah. fuck is this? I got to put a disc in. And it was so weird, man, because there was a while, like, you know, like me, like I had the VHS, like it was weird. Like my family, we grew up and we had the nice VHS player and what would be considered rich. Like we had like the the rewinder, 
Ooh. Like not you what? didn't have to re, you didn't have to re, you didn't have to re. Hey, just push it, it in and shut it. Yeah, and it fucking you still took like five minutes, but like, <laughs> yeah. it, but it was like fast compared to like the fucking you know. Don't you don't you love that though? Like back in the day though, you could hear like you could hear when it was getting ready. Like if the if the tape wasn't be kind of rewind if it wasn't rewound, right. like you could hear like when it was in the commercials. So oh, you could go ahead and push play. And then that way you can get closer to the movie. <laughs> like right, I right. Yeah. You didn't have to watch all the previews and shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that thing was like so fast ahead of its time. But then it was like, we didn't have a DVD player for a while. You know what I mean? So we went from being like the high tech, like, Oh my God, we can go over to John's and watch a movie. And cause that was, a, that was always a thing. Like I'd go to put in a movie with my friends and be like, Oh fuck, I didn't rewind it. Cause why the fuck? Mm-hmm. Would I, right. Like, so then I'd have to take 10 minutes to fucking rewind the movie before we could start it. Nowadays you just hit a button and it's fucking these damn. Yeah. Kids. I'm just now getting, I'm just now getting a 4k. I just upgraded from my fucking DVD player to my 4k. I'm, I'm, I'm nice. here, man. I, I'm I, here. Still, I still don't have a 4k. I've been collecting 4k recently. Cause I am going to upgrade when I do, but. I'm still just doing Blu-ray, but and I have I mostly DVDs. I mean, I just started collecting Blu-ray literally not that long ago. I was still sold on DVDs. I was just hiding that kid in me that had to switch from VHS to DVD. You know, I was like, no, nope, this time I'm not going to it. I'm that's staying. why that that's why I have VHS. Like, I literally would rather watch a movie on VHS just because that's like, especially the one like Fast and the Furious, um, The Mummy. Uh, right. Uh, Wild Wild West, uh, Dante's Peak, Twister, Titanic. I want to watch some of my favorite films on it yeah. because that's the way I watched them. Yeah, like I it. love, I love getting up during the middle of Titanic and having to pop another one in. Like I yeah. just, I like that. You're like, like wow. I hated, I hated it then, but right. like now it's like nostalgic and I really do like yeah, that. You, and, yeah, and, you miss uh, it. Yeah, so like uh, it's just, you know, it's very good. Every life's so convenient nowadays, but. You yeah, know, the thing that is sucked, is. the thing that sucked me into Blu-rays, man, was like the the artwork. Like everything's just so cool now. Like that's what sucked into people for like for DVDs. It was like so different. It was like the slip covers of VHS. We just like took it. We just like took that for granted. Like they were so dope, but no one really realized it because you were just like, oh, this movie. If I just carry it around, it's gonna fucking slip out of the bottom. That's fucking crazy. Like I'm paying twenty two fifty for this movie. But then, like, DVDs came and the artwork was fucking crazy, but then you didn't appreciate the artwork that was on the slipcovers and how, like, old school it was, you know? Yeah. Pretty pretty awesome, man. Now, Blu-rays are the same thing. It's like, I look at my Blu-rays and I'm like, oh, the collector's editions and the 4Ks and shit are so dope looking. They have all these, you know... The still books, man. The still books yeah, are fucking steel, legit. the steel books are legit. Chris now, actually got I, there's, me into there's that. Gonna, there's gonna get... Yeah, the steelbooks are awesome, dude. I love steelbooks. But now they're getting – now I'm telling you, they'll get to a point in like five years where we'll, it's already getting to that for me where I'm looking at some of the DVDs. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Like they're old school looking now. Like some of the older DVDs that I have are like old school looking. Not like the new shit, you know what I mean? But like some of the older ones I own, like the old Mummy DVD I have, like it's old, it's old school looking. It still has like the same – cover that the vhs had you know yeah and stuff like that up, i just picked up today actually just so you guys a picture of it i picked up a, today a dvd and the only reason why i bought it was because of that right there because it was a dvd of decoys and it said one night rental only on the yeah, cover of it like they had this it, it's still the sticker on it so i was like that's yeah. fucking awesome yeah I <laughs> so i got a couple of vhs's with the hollywood video sticker still on them dude so dope yeah, I've got a fucking, I got, I got quite a few of those bitches. How about your um, favorite? How about your favorite covers, Chris? What's like your favorite horror cover art ever? Um, that's hard. <laughs> that's a hard one, man. That, that is, is hard. very hard. Well, name uh, like one that you do like, you know. Like I always, obviously, it's my favorite movie, but I always love the Exorcist one with just obviously the iconic awesome. glow from the wit- moonlight and shit, and from the window and the the Exorcist standing there. You know, that's like one of my favorites. Uh, I'll tell you to go first. I gotta think for this one. Oh fuck you. Fuck you. Uh we got ten minutes, boys. Oh shit. Oh. Dude, we're not even I haven't even started my fucking uh <laughs> what got me into horror. Oh shit. 
You kind of did. You went into the, <laughs> the, the, the Disney thing and shit, you know? No, that's not you fuckers. You got to talk. Well, stop it. You, it. Got, you got 10 minutes right now. Let's go. No, it's over. I'm fucking I'm done with it. Literally 10 minutes so long. So many seconds. So many seconds. <laughs> so many um, seconds. It's not even funny. Let's do this. Uh, my I, Dude, I don't know, man. I think some of the, the artwork that really stands out with me uh, is probably Death Wish. Or pff, Death Wish, Death Spa, um, and Chopping Mall. Those oh, those cool. artworks I really like. That's cool. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's like a fucking shit ton more, but I can't think off the spot. Like, I like the Invisible Maniac. I love how it's you know it's it's a cool looking artwork. Um, yeah. But uh, okay, Chris, go. All right, I'm gonna go with Chopping Mall that you said yeah. as well. That's always a good one, dude. That's a sick one. Part of the team is part 3D. I love the Ooh. shower knife coming through. Yeah, so, that's awesome. That's a good one. Uh, so many shoes. I know there's so many. Friday the, the part three, that's a good one, dude. That's old school, too. Yeah, it is a good one. That's fucking sick. Yeah, I don't nice, know. There's nice there's so many good artwork uh, and, designs. And, and Chris, now you probably, do you have like the new collector's edition of part three? Yeah. Is that one? Is it the same or is it different? Oh, the still it, the same. Yeah, it is. That's fucking cool, man. That's a cool one to have. That'd be badass, especially if that's one of your favorite ones. Like that's a, I'd, I'd have that one on display. Fuck. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah, that's cool. I, All right, uh, uh, Taylor, uh, hit us with some movies that got you going, man. All right. <clears throat> so real quick synopsis. Um, Whenever, uh, whenever I was younger, my uncle, I went and stayed with my uncle and my aunt a lot. Okay. And, uh, th- so my, like we, my cousin and I, we would have to go to bed and I would always sneak out because my uncle was like a huge horror movie fan. And I always knew he would be watching a scary movie. And the first one that I really remember is child's play three. Oh, nice. Um, that's the first one I really remember. And I asked him, uh, cause I would hide behind like the way that their house was set up. They had like this barrier in between the kitchen and the living room. And, um, I would hide, and I can only see half of the TV really because his fucking recliner was right there in the way. But, um, I would hide behind that. And I asked him, you know, years later or didn't ask him. I told him, I was like, you know, I used to sneak and watch. He said, I knew it. I knew it. He said, <laughs> yeah. he goes, I thought if you were brave enough to sit there in the dark, and watch those scary movies, you ought to be able to watch it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and I, you know, I, I watched quite, a, I didn't like watch all of them, but like I watched, you know, probably five or six movies with him. But the one that I really, really remember was a uh, uh, Child's Play 3. But I think what really, really got me into horror was uh, Scream, man. Like, honestly, because in that time, that was the biggest movie. Everybody dressed up like it. And the first, I didn't didn't get to see it in theaters. I didn't, you know, nothing like that. But my cousin, uh, which, which was the same people I'm talking about in prior, uh, she was the older cousin. We would go stay with her a lot. And um, she rented it one night and let us watch it. And it, that was it, man. It fucking blew my mind. Like scream was just like the best movie ever to me. Um, yeah, and, and Ghostface was like all over the Halloween stores, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it was everywhere. Once that came um, out, it was fucking everywhere, dude. I think I was Ghostface for Halloween for like four years in a row. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, but no, that was uh that was that was definitely a, a big one. That and Child's Play. So like, that's kind of why I have like a sweet spot in my heart for for Chucky. Like, oh, me too, movie- dude. Me too. The movies yeah, are fucking the, stupid. And but. the third one's good. Fuck it. I don't even give a shit. It's like a totally different feel, but like I still love it, dude. I love all those movies. Chucky was yeah. the first motherfucker that scared me, dude, like to the bone. Like it scared the shit out of me because it was the first time I really heard that language too all the time. Uh huh. Like it was like everything about that movie just got me. I think when I was watching it, I was like, this isn't that bad. And because I was having fun, but then I went home and I was like, this motherfucker is in my closet for sure. Like, yeah. Well, such a right, good so- idea. So effective. Yes, and so the, another step back a little bit, same same scenario. Like I, I knew that they were watching uh, that that Steve knew that I was watching, 
because the older sister, April, the one that I'm talking about, let me watch Scream years later, she had a fucking doll that looked like Chucky. There, I have one now. They're not, they're not good guy. There's something else. They're like, I'll send you guys a picture of it, but they, yeah. it's a doll that looks like Chucky. Right. And it was big back in that day. All right. So I went to bed. Um, you know, I, cause I think I asked him to watch another one or something like that. And he let me watch it. And I was terrified, fucking absolutely terrified. <laughs> and I woke up in the middle of the night screaming, fucking blood curdle screaming because she put that fucking doll in my bed next to me. Ugh. And, and, <laughs> It it's like at, at, it, yeah, it tormented me, and um, but we're all just fucked up, dude. <laughs> and I, I, but like looking back at it now, like I do that shit to my kids. <laughs> like I put oh, yeah. shit, oh, yeah. I put shit in their bed. I fucking stand up in the closet when they're not, you know, when they're sleeping. And well, dude, like, it's that's cool because you realize how important of a time it was for you as a kid. Like that stuff was important to me. Like. Um, you know, it all obviously played a huge role in all of our lives. Like movies have from this whole conversation, just movies have in general, just the whole mm. culture of, of movies and, and storytelling and all that stuff have obviously played an in, incredible role in all of our lives. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool to come to see it come full circle, you know what I mean? And like be able to teach our kids that, um, and, and, uh, you know, like my son comes in my room and he like sees the fucking masks and he's just like, you can see his eyes just like, what is this? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You can already see it in his eyes that like there, there's, it's all, it's the kids that are like sheltered from it that you realize like have, a, have an issue with it, you know? Yeah. And um, don't, don't understand it as much, obviously when they're sheltered at a young age and they never watch them. And then, you know, you, you see maybe not an issue, but like, they don't enjoy them because they, they never had that like sense of wonder about it, you know? Yeah. Which I think it's so important when it comes to this genre. In my, my, uh, my son and how much longer we got, we got two and a half minutes. Okay. Real quick story. My son, um, he, uh, he, what they have, my son and daughter have t tablet, uh, an hour, hour in the morning if they have a chance. And then because he's out of school and she's in school. So like hour in the morning an hour at night. And, the first thing he goes to, I don't know how he finds them because I type in dinosaurs. I don't know how he finds them, but it's always Michael Myers. It's always yeah. something to do with Chucky, Prey, something like that. <laughs> and like yeah. he's like, he's drawn to that shit, man. He oh, fucking yeah. loves it. And Say does the same thing, man. They they both love the scary stuff and they like coming down here. The cable's a little bit more of a whip than Salem is, but yeah. um it, it's just yeah, I think it's, sometimes sometimes I think that when they're scared is when they're more they're thinking about it more like that's how mm -hmm. i was i was always scared from i was always scared with it and then that's what got me into it that's what made me wonder about it more so sometimes it can reverse where the kids that aren't scared about it and have fun kind of grow out of it and then the ones that are it's it's you could tell it's kind of really affecting them whether it be like a positive it might not seem like a positive manner at, to begin with but it could end up being that you know what i mean and chris yeah. I'm sure, i mean i see your kids watching shit all the time i mean Right, Chris, your kid, your kid watches horror movies, right? Oh yeah, he watches Halloween Kills, loves Friday Part Three. Yeah, see, that's wild too. It's not even like the old school shit, you know. He's watching like the shit now, which will be old school to him. In, yeah, you know, when yeah. he's older, which is crazy, which is really cool because that's what we were doing. So, it's a fucking awesome thing, and uh, I'm glad we all stuck with it. And um, this has been a great conversation. I think this this video a lot of people are going to relate to. Um, going from what started with them for horror and and talking about the whole vhs thing going to video stores a lot of people in this in this community can can relate to those the, the type of lives we all had um so I'm, I'm pumped we talked about this i am too good idea chris yeah, this is chris. all chris's idea it's all man. chris's Fucking... idea man it's a great idea man we really should have right. probably should have started this out this video but it's kind of cool that we kind of got used to everything and then did this video because uh yeah awesome awesome idea dude We do really appreciate all the followers, Instagram, the subscribers on YouTube. We really appreciate that. We had a lot of fun talking tonight about what got us into horror and we're really excited about moving forward with Check the Candy. So if you guys will please stay tuned and just check in on us, man. Honestly, just see what we're up to, see what we're doing. It's a lot of fun. We got a lot of fun things in the works. So 
stay tuned. And I wish Chris was here because he would say, Happy Chapter Candy. Bye.